The union leaders are now taking aim at the casino industry over their handling of layoffs during this pandemic. They are demanding workers be paid amid the closures. Our Hector Mejia is live on the Las Vegas Strip now with more on this. Hi, Hector. Hey there, with every hotel and casino on the Strip closed, it's quiet out here. Caesars Palace here pretty much deserted. The world famous fountains there are drained. Union leaders are demanding these casino giants to pay and provide health benefits to every employee as long as these doors stay closed and thousands of people are out of work right now. In a virtual conference, the culinary union, the most influential in the state, is calling out several properties, including Caesars Entertainment, MGM Resort. Sahara and Westgate. Union leaders said the industry has previously stepped up during 9 11 and devastating hurricanes, but not this time. Most casinos are not offering to extend pay to workers during the COVID 19 pandemic. That is, despite sitting on a huge pile of cash, according to G Jaconda Arguello Klein from the Culinary Union. We're talking about billions of dollars in profit billions of dollars in cash, and they don't see the workers right now. They only see their numbers. They only see the compensation for the top executives. They only see how their business going to go through. What is their numbers? That's the way they see. They don't see what the people going through, how much they are worried about how they're going to pay their utilities, how they're going to keep their homes. Another union, Unite Here, said these casinos are passing the burden off to the taxpayer to pay for unemployment. That's if workers are able to get through the overwhelmed unemployment office and file a claim, and there may be long-term implications as well. Union leaders said this will likely be a topic of discussion in future contract negotiations. Reporting from The Strip, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now. All right, Hector, thanks so much. And 8 News Now did reach out to MGM, Caesars, Boyd Gaming, Treasure Island, and Westgate for statements. We actually just got a statement back from MGM. It says in part, quote, the federal government recognized that this is a catastrophic and unprecedented event that is crippling businesses and the entire U.S. economy. We are grateful that they passed the CARES Act to provide assistance for impacted workers. The decisions we are making are to ensure that we have the resources to not just reopen, but also to operate successfully.